Good Wednesday morning. It's July 15th, 2020. I'm Guy McPherson from Nature Bites Last. You can find me at guymcpherson.com. I'm here today, apparently in slow motion, to, to provide a few headlines and then an indication of what's happening with the stock markets in the United States as they open. First, a few headlines. This first one is from BBC News. If you want to know the real news about what's happening in the United States, you turn to media outlets from outside the United States. And the same is true for other countries as well. You don't want to tune in to RT to find out what's happening in Russia. You want to turn into media outlets from outside of Russia. And the same applies here. So this from BBC, the headline, Hong Kong, colon, China vows to retaliate after Trump ends special economic status. That sounds like it's really bad news, actually, because if China retaliates on the economic front, which is the primary means they have at their disposal at this point, then that would be terrible news for the United States economy and, by extension, the world economy. From Bloomberg, cash-strapped businesses hit tax day with new reasons to worry. Yes, today is the three months delayed tax day in the United States for paying income taxes. And so this is an important day for those of you who made money in 2019. From MarketWash, fear is rising in the stock market and so is dumb money confidence as tech stocks reach an inflection point. Yes, Market Watch actually included dumb money in a headline as a force driving up the stock markets, especially the tech stocks. From Reuters, crowded trade, high valuations, why investors worry about tech stocks. Apparently, people can, are concerned that the tech stocks are at their high point and are headed for a crash, as if we haven't seen that happen before with tech stocks. From Fox Business, Tesla shares could implode if it misses earnings, not included in S&P 500 index, Gasparino. And that's because the opinion piece is written by Charlie Gasparino. And then in the news that really matters to a majority of Americans and probably other people in the so-called first world, from the Wall Street Journal, Apple wins major tax battle against EU. Well, that's going to drive their stock up at least, and Apple is the tail wagging the dog of the tech stocks and the stock markets in general in the United States. So, the response from CNBC, here's the headline, Dow futures surge 500 points after Goldman's blowout quarter Moderna's vaccine news. It's not going to be a vaccine, people. What the hell is the matter with you, anyway? Okay, so here we are at 9.31 a.m. Eastern Time. Stock markets have just opened in the United States. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is, is plus 330. The NASDAQ and S&B 500 are following suit. Ignore all the bad news. We have the hope. Of a, vir- of a vaccine for the virus, the hope. The hope, is, the hope is driving the overall markets while fear is driving the tech stocks, but not driving them very badly because the, S- the NASDAQ is up 80 points at the open. So there you go. If you can figure it out, send me a note. I'll be sure to put it out there. If you appreciate these videos, then please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notified each time one of these videos is put into the ether. In addition, you can become a member of the Nature Bats Last channel, which allows you a few perks for a very modest cost.